Since Avila's arrest, there has been a flood of people coming forward wanting to adopt the baby boy. CYFD says it is not that simple. As News 13's Gabe Chavez reports, this incident highlights just how many kids are up for adoption in New Mexico. CYFD tells me, though this situation is tragic, this infant cannot be adopted yet because the family will be first on that list. We have received a huge number of calls for uh, families who are interested in this child. CYFD wants the public to know what the process is for adopting a child. We want to try to locate relatives. Um, we, we want to make those efforts to reunify the children or youth with their families. Many are asking what will happen to the infant now and how they can adopt him. In a short answer, you can. If a family is interested in adopting a child who's in CYFD custody, um, they would ultimately need to foster that child first. The process to even foster a child takes up to 120 days, and there are more than 2,300 kids in foster care. A family member can foster this infant first, but still has to go through the foster licensing step. I would say um, from the beginning, the application through the hopefully approval or the conclusion of a home study, it can take um, about four months. The adoption process in New Mexico can take up to a year. So many kids in New Mexico are looking for a loving home. You know, people think, I want to rescue a baby. I want to get that baby. But honestly, right now, there are so many children, three, four, five, ten-year-olds, the average age is eight, who are waiting for a family. For more information on how to apply to be a foster parent, we will have a link to that on our website at alwaysonkrqe.com. Back to you. CYFD would only tell us the little boy is still in their care. They would not say if he is still in the hospital.